Hi, Leah. Hi. How are you? You know, I just kind of had this stomach ache, so I thought I'd jump on this telemedicine call with you, use my med wand, and figure out what's going on with me. Okay, so we can also look at some of the other creatures on MedWand while we're doing that. Uh, so let me just take a few steps here and turn on some of our sensors and switch off some of the other ones so we can optimize everything. Give me a quick moment. And then I'm going to go to the stethoscope and just mute some of the things we don't need right now. Great. So let's start by um, taking your temperature, please. Let's hover it above your forehead, right between your eyebrows. You don't have to touch the device. Just be for a few seconds. And it's going to take the highest temperature reading and record it. And it came back at 97.4. Not bad at all. If uh, this was Europe, we could convert that to centigrade uh, as well. Why don't we also get your oxygen levels and your pulse rate? So I want you to please put one of your finger tips right there on the sensor, just like that, and put that on the table for stability. And I'm going to go ahead and start the sensor. This takes about 30 seconds for us to get all of the information back. Typically the pulse rate comes in first followed by your oxygen levels and then respiratory. So we're really good right there. I'll record that. So everything looks good. You're respiring at eight, be, at eight breaths a minute. Oxygen is 96% in room air and your pulse rate is very good. You're healthy there. Um, why don't we also do the stethoscope as well. Um, the stethoscope is on. If you wouldn't mind tapping the stethoscope, that is the stethoscope there. Thank you very much. And on the clinician side, the clinicians have to wear these because the frequency that is generated through the computers allows the heartbeat and the lung sounds and the bowel sounds to be best heard using this. So why don't we actually see if we can uh, listen to your heart. I'm going to turn on some filters to enhance that. Uh, put that right there in the center of your chest, please. Good, just breathe normally. Good, I actually picked up several heartbeats there. Uh, we can stop there, but we don't have to enhance that any further. Um, if, however, clinicians want to play around with the different audio filters here, we have a whole bunch on the right here that you can use to go between lung, bowel, um, and, and heart uh, to pick up the maximum, but we will stop that for now. Um, why don't I mute that and let's go on to the camera, please. Um, and perfect. It's going to start up in a few seconds. And then I'd like to see the palm of your hand to show the resolution there. And that's good. It's a little bit perfect. If you wouldn't mind coming out just a little bit more, let it autofocus. All right, good. I want to take a picture of that. Great. Let's see the other side of your hand. And we might be having some signal. Okay, perfect. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and capture a picture there as well. And why don't we do one, if you wouldn't mind, of your tonsils? So I want you to hold that med one up right there. It's a little pixelated right now, but it should be okay in a few seconds. It should autofocus. Okay, good. Turn on the, the lights there. Say off for me, please. Good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Awesome, thank you. Um, and then we can do several things. You can just stay right there where you are with the camera. Um, you can actually zoom all the way in like that. Uh, there's also a manual focus uh, that I have as well. And uh, we can actually activate that here. And the reason we have that is when we're looking inside the ear, uh, we can actually control the focus in case it's focusing automatically on debris or hair or whatnot. Um, and we can also, Pan left, pan right, tilt up and tilt down as well. That's all controlled on my end. Uh, we also can bring up a target uh, sign here as well that we can use to take photographs of specific lesions and whatnot as well. So very cool. Um, let's go to uh, the EKG. And if you wouldn't mind, uh, there are two metal, right, exactly, the two metal um, sides. Just put your thumbs on there. And you want to rest maybe your... The top of your wrist against the table to keep it steady. And here we go. Let's start that. Okay, 
grade. That's a good reading right there. Stop that and record it. And that's it. So let's look at the summary of this. Um, this is the summary of the examination that we just did. It includes some of the vitals that we did, including the temperature here, the pulse rate, the pulse ox, uh, and uh, the respiratory rate. There is a picture there of Elia's tonsils. And then we also have uh, the top of her hand. Uh, that's in high resolution, as well as her palm as well. And then going back here, uh, we have her our EKG, which we can uh, go through and then pick up a point of this where we want to record. And uh, here, when I go to exit exam, uh, so goodbye, Aaliyah. Uh, we're going to take Hi, over. Thank you. You're welcome. And so what we do here is uh, we have, again, a summary of what we just did with our patient, and then of course we can also type in whatever we need as clinicians, including the diagnosis, some exam notes, disposition, and what they might want to do. Uh, these are all customizable fields, and uh, we can actually save here and return to the waiting room if we have someone else waiting for us. And that, in a nutshell, is a demo of the features of MedWand.